So I've looked in the trash in his emails and there's one email in the trash. So he's deleted one email, yeah? Ask me what the email was that he deleted. Where Ask were me they? what the email was. Girl, it was only a thank you email from his hotel reservation. Man, I'm just sitting here like she was holding it down, paying rent, trying to get this channel going. She having to walk because she don't have a car to put groceries in here to feed his and he out here cheating. What's up, y'all? My name is Nick Rochelle. And I am Carla Rochelle, and we are a married couple. On this channel, we share our genuine reactions to some of the hottest content on YouTube. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership to our channel, become one of our little freaks, hit the join button for exclusive perks. Without further ado, shout out to the members of our channel. All right, members, this Saturday at 7 p.m. Central, we are going to have movie night. So we look forward to hanging with you all. Uh, babe, who are we reacting to today? All right, y'all. Today we're reacting to Daily Diana. Yeah, she, uh, this is a new person, babe. Who yeah, so somebody, um, they left a comment on one of our videos and they said that we should check out this particular video. So it's how I found out my husband cheated on me. Yeah, well, I hope it's a good video, but I also want to say I appreciate you suggesting, you know, uh, videos to react to because it's been kind of a little dry. It's been a little dry. That's really the reason we ain't show up that much next, uh, last week because <laughs> we ain't want to force it. Yeah. But uh, let's get in checking out, uh, you said Dirty Diana? No. <laughs> Dirty <laughs> Diana. Well, we're going to actually do us a favor, hit the like button because it helps us grow. Let's go. So before yeah. I start this story, I just want to make it clear that in no way is this a joke. The way I tell stories can be very animated and humorous. Oh, but... I thought she was going to be in America. Well, maybe she is in America, but I didn't know she's going to have an accent. I love just it. Just want to make it clear. <laughs> okay. This was some real life shit and it definitely was not funny while I experienced it. It's definitely not funny at the time. And by no means am I trying to make light of the situation or make this out like it's something that didn't affect me <laughs> a lot because it most definitely did it traumatized me however it's in the past I've moved on from it hence why I'm even comfortable to be able to now share the story because trust me and believe I felt like I would have taken this to my grave if I had to so Aww. let me set the scene for you okay so I was living with my husband in a massive house a lot of you who've been following me and or was following us for a while you remember the house tour we talking about the big five bedroom house swimming pool in the back two reception rooms amazing massive kitchen lovely um, bathroom where the house went over three floors and this house was rented and it was three grand a month yes three Whoa. thousand pounds per month to live in this house and we lived in this house i think two and a half years going on three years i hey, can't remember if we made it that sounds like a good deal to me it is a good deal but depending on where she was it could have been oh know, so hold on. i'm trying to say she trying to say it as if like oh this is expensive or y'all this was a steal like we got this <laughs> shit for three thousand a month and then i can't help but to wonder how old was she and how old was he Cause you know, a lot of times these men like to have a lot of little money and they like to get them little real young girls yeah. and manipulate their little minds. Third year, but definitely two and a half years we were living in this house. And mind you, I was paying for it <laughs> on my own. Now I wasn't paying for this on my own out of choice. That is the part I want to make very clear. It wasn't choice. It was never my plan to be like, yeah, yeah, I got it, babe. I'll just, I'll just pay it. I make enough money. So let me just pay for it. No, the original plan when we moved in the house was for me to, of course, continue on my YouTube influence or social media career path and make lots of money that way. And my husband, he had his own career that was going to make him a lot of money also at the time. And then we also was going to be planning to start our own channel. And well, we already had our own channel, but our channel didn't oh. used to make money. Money. I used to say this all the time if anyone remembers from before I'd always say like this channel don't make money because it never used to 
I used to make money on my own solo channel and our channel was more so a hobby which is why we was never really consistent we didn't upload as much um, because it never paid we were never making money from our joint channel but the plan was to move to this house take our couples channel seriously as well as me still continuing my solo channel he still continues his career off of the internet a lot of things were looking really promising in his career he had a lot of opportunity and things were looking good and we were going to focus on building our couples channel and let that generate a lot of income what we were thinking is it would get to a point where one source of income hopefully the joint channel would just pay for all the bills right so well ain't you glad y'all didn't do that shit Boy, put all your dependency on this couple's channel for it to be a shit show like Tay and Lou. Oh, man. Oh, man. Y'all got to be careful y'all make these couple channels. Y'all got to really think that through y'all thick ass little heads for y'all do that. <laughs> Never the plan for me to just, you know, pay the bills by myself because I was making good money on YouTube. No. The plan was always for us to have three really good sources of income yeah. and hopefully the joint one was going to pay for everything but until then we're going to do a 50 50. i also wanted to start putting my music out properly because fun fact for those that don't know about me i started my youtube channel in order to gain a fan base to then release music the goal was always to release music in the end so from the beginning before i had any subscribers at all so when i gained quite a lot of subscribers i thought okay now's the time for me to put my music out properly so it started out great we moved into the house we were vlogging creating content together we created a lot of content in the house i was still doing my solo thing i was still getting brand deals sponsorships he was still working on his craft and his career he was doing work. okay so the people that was following this young lady and her husband y'all are the videos still up I just want to know who um, who this young man is. I know the thumbnails. That, well, I know when I was searching for her picture for this video, uh -huh. pictures I couldn't find a picture of her by herself on Google. It was her and some dude, so that must be him. What was he looking like? Oh, he looked nice. He looked handsome? Yeah, he complimented her. Okay. I want to know. I just want to know what did he look like? What was he given? What was his energy like because yeah. you know a lot of times people watch people and they be like i knew his ass i just wonder what her music is gonna give it's gonna get like that drake like that uh or spice girl wanna wanna get all these hit us <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just doing, I'm just doing my team team <laughs> well we were progressing <laughs> great you worry, in you every know. single you know place until he ended up with an injury that cost him his whole career so oh, wow. during that time where he had basically lost his career to no fault of his own he was going through it like he had a hard time i'm not going to take that away he had a really hard time depression and as his wife i tried my best to support him which is why i ended up paying all the bills i started yeah. paying all the bills he wasn't going to be making any money anymore he'd gotten into a really bad place um he had to essentially change career careers and start from scratch you might as well Damn. say because of the injury so of course i was gonna hold it down if i can afford to do it i'm gonna hold it down for my marriage my household my husband but of course i'm not thinking i'm going to pay on my own for the foreseeable future right so i want to say a good amount of time went by like a good amount of time went by he ended up changing career he went and got qualifications to become a personal trainer he got a job at the gym he was always at the gym he was always 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 at the gym oh, from no. early in the morning before the sun even rises he's out the door and he's not back home till late in the evening like nine o'clock sometimes ten so he's out all day most days all the time but yet even though he was out all the time oh i've got clients i've got clients back to back clients 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 i'm thinking okay cool you got back to back clients all day from the crack of dawn till night time so any person with common sense will think okay you've got clients you've been out the house all day you what must have I? money for now <laughs> pay your way no am i wrong in thinking that so it no. got to a point where I started to slow down on my solo YouTube channel, on my solo YouTube content, and I was focusing on my music. I was investing money in music videos. I was investing money in certain things to do with my music because that's something I've always wanted to do, and he knows that. 
he knows that was always the goal for me to do music and I wanted to do it properly so I'm now spending money on music I'm now focusing more on music I've kind of neglected my solo YouTube channel um, the sponsorships have slowed down like brand deals and all of that the money I was once making had slowed down so at this point I'm like okay do you know what yes I was holding it down and everything was fine but hey you have a new job now you've been there for a while you work from morning till night every day all day like I Damn, barely get to spend time with each other because you work so much surely <laughs> you're seeing some revenue to now be able to help me help us can we now start to go 50-50 on certain things? He's still telling me no, he ain't got no money. He needs to build it up more. He can't afford it, he can't afford it. So at the same time, it's like, okay, cool. You're telling me you can't afford it. What am I gonna do? What am I actually gonna do? It's either, but I pay it or, okay, should we get evicted then? Like I'm confused at this point because you're telling me you have no money, even though you work all damn day, but you have no money. So things kind of really started. I feel like it, it was like at this point, she could just feel in her body that he was not doing something right. Like it, he was up to something, you think? You don't think her women intuition you, kicked in? Possibly, but sometimes, you know, I don't know how, you know, trainer jobs work, even though they're saying they have clients. He could have been making up excuses about I just about feel like when your working. person is cheating on you, you can feel that shit in your body. Yeah. It could be the, 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 the subtle, most subtle thing that's just, just different. Yeah, it can be something as far as... You used to call me back all the time, and now you not calling or me Or y'all not making love as much, or his, his body odor could be different. You or know, he it got could be some, some new moves, or he asking you to do something different. Anything. Yeah. It's a strain from then, because I'm feeling like my husband works all day. He's been working at this gym for a really long time now. Like it's, it's, it's gone beyond the stage of, I've just started, let me build it up. Like you've built it up at this point and you've clearly built it up because you've got clients, clients that you're leaving. He had plenty of opportunities to build that shit up. Girl, he was slanging that dick. He was slanging that motherfucking dick From like- From morning to night. <laughs> in the house at 6 a.m. for and coming home at 10 o'clock at night. You're out all day. So. If you're working that many hours and you still aren't making enough money to contribute to our household, there's a problem. I'm yes. like, okay, cool. I can still afford it. At this point, I'm affording it, but I'm scraping. I'm scraping and I'm starting to struggle myself because as I said, I started putting money into other things like my music and I had slowed down on my solo channel. So I stopped working as much and I was still spending the same. So it's like nothing. Okay, now I do want to say this just because, you know, she's telling this story and a lot of times we like to give education. So when you are in a relationship, like in her head, she like, I just slowed down on my solo channel and started to, you know, put money into my music. She probably should have had a conversation with him first to say, hey, I just want to know, like, are you going to be able to, you know, Help bring in this piece of the money because now I want to start doing this. So then that is way, on the because. Yes. So that way, like eventually, even if he was cheating y'all, he still was going to get caught. But that would have gave him time to, to get some money so that she could actually do what she wanted to do. It's like now she's suffering on both ends as far as her, what she's trying to do with her own personal life and in her marriage because he's stepping out. But I was just saying she should have had that conversation with him instead of at least she's not saying it here that she had a conversation. She just said she started slowing and, up. Yeah, and it just shows how important like that communication is in a relationship, yeah. cheating or not. Thing good was coming from it. So my thing was, okay, if you're still not making enough money working at the gym, then we need to beef up our couples channel then, because I'm not really doing too much content on my own. So we need to really get this couples channel off the floor properly so it can pay the bills like the original plan was to do. But of course with that, he was very on and off. Um, for anyone that's used to watch us, you will know that one minute he's there, one minute he's not, one minute he's there, one minute he's not. And that was to no fault of my own, like I can't force him to do it. But at the same time, I'm like, you know we can make money to pay for the bills. I would rather we do this, go hard at this, pay for these bills so I don't have to anymore. Like I don't yeah. want to focus on 
trying to hold it down anymore. I've got my own goals and my own dreams and my own yeah. things I want to do with music. So we would film more content. We started filming more content. Um, sometimes if we would have a day off, we would film videos back to back to back. Around this time we were doing like challenges, tags, all them sorts yeah. of things. We were just doing like all the trending YouTube couple stuff. Every and that's another thing about these couple channels, y'all. Just think, that's why I had that that so raving moment. Just think about the days. You just don't feel like doing that cheesy ass pranks, challenges. I'm finna act like I'm cheating on you. We finna act like, you know what I'm saying? That shit, I knew I didn't want to do that shit. I was like, I'll sit down and watch motherfuckers act up, but I ain't finna do that shit. Because yeah. after a while, it's like you have a high, but then after a while, that shit get played. Yeah. Whew. Every time he had a day off, we would just go all day at it, back to back to back to back to back. And then obviously when he's at work during the week or whenever, I'll be at home editing, uploading these videos, trying to get the pee up so we can just, you know, be calm. And it started to pick up. It started to pick up, but it didn't pick up to the point where it took care of all of our bills because we never got to that point where it took care of all of our bills because before we could really get there, it's like he doesn't want to do it anymore or we just wouldn't do it anymore. And we would take too much. We weren't consistent enough to really clean up the way I know we could have cleaned up back when it happened. When was this? This was 2017. 2017 time, we really could have cleaned yeah, yeah. up. We weren't yeah. always on the same page when it came to our content and our consistency and really trying to grow it. So it never became what I know it could have become. So now I've got the backstory out the way. Now I can get into the actual story about what yeah. happened. Cause I know that's what you lot came here for. What happened? So it was a super normal day for me. I was at home, husband's at work. As usual, right? He's been at work since 6 a.m. in the morning. So I go grocery shopping. These times I didn't have my car and I didn't have my license yet. So I didn't have my car, I didn't have a license. So I'm out doing grocery shopping and I'm carrying bags, yeah? I'm out here doing a food shop and carry, I didn't even buy one of them trolley things. I remember during them times, I used to consider buying one of those granny trolleys. Cause yeah. I'm like doing shopping and carrying the bags. <sighs> and I would actually walk. I would walk from the supermarket or I'll take Aww. an Uber back home. I would refuse to get on the bus. I wouldn't get on the bus. So I'd either take an Uber or I'd walk. And it wasn't a close walk, it was a long walk. So walking with bags. Man, I'm just sitting here like, she was holding it down, paying rent, trying to get this channel going. She having to walk cause she don't have a car to put groceries in here to feed his ass. And he out here. Cheating. Man. <laughs> It was given, no, it weren't given. In the town where the supermarket <laughs> is, is also where his gym is that he works at. So I thought I'm in the area. This was afternoon. I'm like, this is around his lunchtime, around his lunch break. Cause usually on his lunch break or lunchtime, he would text me, call me and just speak to me while he's eating his lunch. So I'm like, okay, this is around his lunchtime. Let me see what he's doing. I'm in the area, I'm in the town. Let me go to his gym and maybe we can go and grab lunch in the town. Like, let's just go, not even nowhere too tough. We can just go flip in Costa or Starbucks. And let me just have some lunch with my husband, right? Normal right. things. I get to the gym now. I ring the buzzer, because it's one of them you gotta ring the buzzer. You can't get in unless you've got a code. I don't have a code, I wasn't a member. Wow. So I'm ringing the buzzer so someone can come down. Staff member comes down now, female staff um, member. I'm like, hey, um, is my husband around? I'm just like in the area, um, I'm trying to call him. Because I'm pretty sure I tried to call him. He weren't picking up the phone. I tried texting him, he went texting back. So I'm like, he might be in a <laughs> session at the moment. Oh, he was in so a session. So that's why he's not picking up the phone and that's why he's not Girl, texting me back. So if I just tell one, one of his colleagues <laughs> that tell your colleague, your wife is here. Once he's done with his client, he'll come down and we can go get some lunch, right? Right? Cute. So I say to her, I'm like, hey, is my husband around? Um, I've been trying to reach him, but he must be working because he's not gotten back to me. And then she's like, um, no, I don't think so. Let me check. She goes upstairs, comes back down, and she goes, no, he's not here. And I haven't actually, I haven't actually seen him all day. And I'm like, what do you mean you ain't seen him all day? He's been here since 6 a.m. She was like, well, I ain't seen him. I haven't seen him all day. Instantly, Ooh, my heart was just in my stomach. I'm like, what the hell does this woman mean she ain't seen him all day? Because my <laughs> man left the yard at 6 a.m. as usual. So she's like, I haven't seen him all day. So I'm shaking. I'm shaking because one, I'm thinking, has something happened to him? Has something happened to him that is a threat to his life? 
So yeah. I'm like shaking with worry, like where the hell is my husband? I take a Uber and I go home. I call my best friend. I'm like, I just turn up to the gym and my man's not there. And she's like, what? I'm like, yeah, he's not there. His colleague said she hasn't seen him all day, but he's been at the gym since 6 a.m. Well, he left the house like from 6 a.m. So, and she's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, it's really weird. And I'm like, I got a really funny feeling. Like, I feel weird about this. I feel really weird about this. So she's like, what are you gonna do? I'm like, I need to, I need answers. He's not texting me back. He's not calling me back. I don't Hold on, but I just want to say this too, because you know what's interesting. Uh, sometimes when you have a guy who's a cheater or a dog or whatever, you can be surrounded by other females who know your man cheating on you, but they won't tell you because they don't feel like it's their place. Yeah. Think about when we worked in a call center. It'll be certain men in there where it's just, you just knew he was a dog. He yeah. tried to flirt and sleep with all the women and you know he's married and it's like, you just wouldn't tell it. Yeah, I, <laughs> I remember I was cool with this one girl, like really cool with her and found out that her dude was cheating and I was like, do she know? And this one girl's like, uh, yeah. And I was like, nah, like she can't know cause I, she would tear this call center up. And they was like, you don't think she know? They was like, just start peeping. And they was like, he literally do what he want to do in front of her face. Yeah. So. And then I witnessed it and I was just like, and sometimes you have to be careful because this happened to one of my friends trying to let somebody know that they man cheat and it turns around and they get mad at yep, you. That so like too. that happened to one of my friends and she just like, after that shit happened to me, she was like, I don't get it. So Nobody some people business. will stay out of it. Like, yeah. so even the reception or whoever she was that opened the door, she could have already knew, oh, he been cheating. Yeah. I, I ain't seen no. But the thing is, she still put that nugget out yep, there. Yep. Like, That's she... why I said, I feel like she knew. <laughs> she know. They probably be gossiping about him like, dang, is she, is he married to? What if she know um, he was married until then? They could have knew about the YouTube channel and all that. I don't know if I should be worried. Like, a call a police ting worried. She's like, no, 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 don't call police. police. It's not, like, don't do that. Like, it's not even been long enough for you to be doing all that. I'm like, I hear you. And it's not even time for him to usually come home yet. So I'm like, he's not going to be home for a few hours. So I guess I'm just going to have to wait. Wait till his regular time when he comes home. See if he comes home. If he doesn't, then take things a bit more more yeah. serious. So as I'm going home, I'm, something in me is like, nah, I can't wait a couple hours, you know, to see when he comes home and then ask him questions. Then, no, I need to know what's going on. What's going on? So I start fishing for answers. <laughs> now, I had his passwords and he has my password. So I've got his passwords for email. I've got his passwords for um, like Instagram and um, that was something, I can't remember when we shared passwords, but we had had each other's passwords for a while. This wasn't like a newly, oh, I've got your password type thing. So he knows I've got his passwords obviously and he knows that I can access his emails or his Instagram or whatever anytime I wanted to, right? I don't know what told me to check his emails. I went to his emails and I decided to check his emails, but I didn't actually check the emails. I checked the trash. Something just took, I'm not gonna lie, something <laughs> just guided my hands and guided my fingers. None of this was like thought through. <laughs> I don't know what I was looking for. Yeah. I didn't even think I would find anything. Something just said, hey, look in the trash in his- Oh, e women's intuition. Emails. Yeah. So I've looked in the trash in his emails and there's one email in the trash. So he's deleted one email, yeah? Ask me what the email was that he deleted. What Ask was me it? what the email was. Girl, it was only a thank you email from his hotel reservation. Hello, sir. I hope you enjoyed your stay and she on August. <laughs> and she ain't been to no hotel. First. 2017 at the such and such hotel give us a rating i'm like sorry mind you all of this took place on august 6 2017 i remember the dates i remember the dates i remember the dates so clearly so it's august 6 while this is happening but it's saying he had a reservation august 1st so i'm like 
five days ago you were at a hotel and i had no idea i started calculating what was i doing five days ago i'm checking the date i'm checking the time i'm checking what day it was and i'm starting to remember what was i doing this day what was i doing this day he was at work as usual left in the morning as usual came home the evening as usual then i actually remember what i was doing on that day that day i had given our three story five bedroom two reception large kitchen american fridge freezer island kitchen big backyard swimming pool in a yard house a deep clean i remember i was housewife that day day I was scrubbing down because there was a few times in that house I hired cleaners mind you I paid for them there was a couple times I hired cleaners for that house because that house was so big me cleaning it one by myself it was long it was so long so the fact that I actually dedicated a day to doing that that day that was very rare for me I did not clean that house on my own, top to bottom, and I did. I remember that day I cleaned the house top to bottom. I had the music going after I'd finished cleaning. I you know, it's crazy. I must watch too many movies or something in my head. All like it's like a movie scene in my yes. head. It's like she like <laughs> Like the more, the harder she pumping and cleaning stuff, music going top to bottom, he pumping the inside of a woman, oh, beating beat her walls at the same time. The harder she scrubbing, he mm, mm, top yeah, to she, bottom. And she just trying to be a good little housewife. Mm. Mm started cooking off a big meal because I'm like, listen, husband's been working really hard. Oh, he, he works every day from morning yeah. till night. He will appreciate a nice home cooked meal when he gets home. I'm thinking, you know what? He probably fucked that food up because he was so woe out for fucking that girl. I wonder if he fucked he, her. He, I wonder too. Please tell us if he did that day. Did, did came back to when he came home what was his attitude like what was his body language like and I remember that day he had kind of an attitude he seemed like he was just like irritable he didn't seem like himself I remember just thinking oh he must just be tired it's been a long day I remember he got snappy with me a couple times and I remember another thing that really just made my blood boil was I remember that night February 1st he tried to you know get intimate with me and And we were about to get intimate, we was about to do the freaky diggy diggy, but then I just didn't feel it. Like sometimes as women, we just go through those moments where the body is just not feeling it. Like we yeah. were in motion, we were in motion, but it weren't, it, it weren't feeling it. It weren't pleasurable, should I say? It was more painful than pleasurable. So it was one of them things where it's like, oh, do you know what? I think I'm just really tired. I've been cleaning up this house all day and then I was cooking. So he was gonna try to fuck her too? What it sounded like they did fuck. She said it was hurting. It wasn't pleasurable. Girl, I tell you. Dirty dog. Shit. And I'm just like exhausted and I don't feel like it's gonna be a good night for us right now. Like we can't do you know what I mean? Maybe tomorrow. I remember he so witched at me. He was like, Well, you need to sort it out and figure out whatever it is going on with you because I'm not getting what I want. And I remember looking at him in such disbelief because he's never spoken to me like that when it comes to sex. Like, if I'm tired, all right, cool. If he's tired, all right, cool. We were never a couple that if someone was not in the mood or if someone was tired, it was a, you need to figure it out. So the way he spoke to me, it didn't make no sense to me at the time, but obviously at the time, I'm not knowing. I'm not knowing the information I know now. So as I'm thinking, these are all the thoughts going through my head when I'm trying to think what was going on first when he's so-called was at a hotel. How was he at a hotel? How did this get past me? How did I know about this? So I'm thinking all these things and I'm thinking, okay, cool. And I'm like, you know what? I might be jumping to conclusions. Maybe there is a perfectly logical explanation to why he's at the hotel. Call my best friend back. I tell her the new information I found out. I was like, yo, he booked a hotel five days ago. I found an email in his trash thanking him for his stay and telling him to rate the place so even my friend she's telling me don't don't jump to conclusions maybe he booked a hotel room for a friend didn't want to tell you maybe he was helping someone out could even be a family member you never know what it is wait until you've got the information before you jump to conclusions. i That's agree true. with that 100 percent 
conclusions and get angry. And I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it. But while I'm hearing it, I'm not hearing it at the same time. Because I'm like, no. Because he can't even pay motherfucking bills. How can he pay for a hotel room? Yeah, but I, for me, <laughs> before I confront my person, I need definite proof. Other than that, I just wait and I just let the shit fall in my... It's always going to fall in your lap. Like that. How it just fell... I mean, when I say fall in your lap, yeah. like you have your moments where your intuition just gets you to be like, oh, just check that. Look at that. What's that? You yeah. know? So... Comment below, what would you do at this point? Would you confront them right now? I already know some of y'all be emotional as hell and they'd just confront them and go in. Start no, beating I, them in the head. Yeah. I wouldn't confront them right now. Yeah, I had to peep shit though. Yeah. No, sorry, there's no way. Because mind you, this is the person that doesn't make enough money to contribute to his own household. <laughs> this is the person that doesn't have money. But it's like if you're dealing with a really good liar, if you don't have your shit together, they will flip it like a narcissist or something. They'll flip it and have you thinking like yeah. you're going crazy, which is why I need to have every, at least me. Because I, I can't keep up with liars and slick tongues. So I got to have all my pieces first. Yeah, but I can also see how if she thinking, no, I'm I'm about to confront his ass. You could get see, away with and it. And see what he say. Somebody like Carla could get away with it. Because <laughs> let's say if Carla did something like that to me, which I'm not like that. And then I try to come up with a lie off the top of my head. Her tongue and her brain will be so fast that yeah. she'll be able to round me up. But uh -uh, I, ain't, I ain't slick like that. I need to pay bills, right? Because remember, I'm paying the bills. So right. how does the person that doesn't have money to pay bills afford to book a hotel room for a friend to help yeah. someone out without speaking to his wife about it? Do you know what I mean? So I get home. I probably read the email 500 times. I read the email so many times. Took a screenshot of it sent it to myself, looked at it again some more times from my own phone now. Like, I looked at this email so many times before I thought I need answers and I need answers now. By then, it was still a couple more hours for his usual time to get home and I'm, I couldn't wait. So I'm calling him, I'm calling him, I'm calling him, calling him, I'm calling him. He finally picks up the phone. He's like, what's going on? What, you're calling me, calling me. You, um, he was like, I was with a client. And I was like, was you? So yeah, I was with a client. I just saw all the missed calls now. I'm like, what is she? I'm like, I came to the gym. He's like, did you? I said, yeah, I did. I spoke to your colleague. She said she hadn't seen you all day. So what time was this? No, no, I did pop out. I popped out for a bit. I was like, oh, did you? Where did you go? He goes, oh, I went to go help a friend or something. I'm like, you went to go help a friend with something? He goes, yeah, I went to go help my friend. He mentions one of his friend's names that I knew who also worked at the gym with him. So one of his friends that works at the gym with him, he said he went to go help him with something. I, of course, don't believe him. I don't know where the hell he's been. So I'm like, okay, so where are you now? He's like, I'm just at the barbershop now. I'm about to get my hair cut, then I'm gonna come home. I said, oh no, come home now. He's like, what? I'm like, come home now. I was like, mm -hmm. do you want me to come there or you can come home? When I said that, he's like, all right, I'll be home in 10 minutes. Damn. <laughs> You'll be home in 10 minutes. So I sat and I waited. That 10 minutes was actually five. He must have zoomed all the way home. He came in looking white as a ghost. His face just had no color. And he's looking at me, he's like, what's wrong? What's the problem? What's going on? I said, sit down. I said, so you were helping a friend. What were you helping a friend with? And then he now tells me some long elaborate story of something he didn't want to tell me because he knew I wouldn't approve of it. Something him and his mate were trying to do, some sort of business venture, some business idea that he knew I wouldn't approve of, which is why he never told me, but he was with his friend sorting this out. I said, okay, so if he was at your friend's house, call your friend, put him on speaker what? and just ask him something random like, oh, did, did I leave my ring at yours when I was there today? Or did I leave this? Yeah, see, she good. She good. She good. I like her. <laughs> Woo, child, I wouldn't have been able to think like that. Damn! Woo! I was earlier. Just so I can see him confirm that you were, in fact, together at his house. He calls his friend now, puts the phone on speaker, and he goes, yo, bro, did I um leave my ring at yours earlier? Imagine the friend said, yeah, yeah, I think you did, bro. From then, I was like, do you know what? <laughs> Come off the phone, hang up the phone. Chat to him later because I can't stand you lot. I can't stand you lot, like, at all. So at this point, I'm not even bothered. I'm not even bothered. Hold up, hold up. So the, so the friend and his back. Yeah, so the friend probably know that he's been cheating too. Yeah. But that still was good though. Yeah. But about where he's been today. 
why he wasn't available to go to lunch with his wife. I'm not even bothered about that anymore because remember, the biggest revelation is the hotel he booked five days prior. Let's talk about that. So I say to him, I'm gonna ask you one time and I'm gonna need you to tell me the truth, yeah? He looks shook, <laughs> very, very shook. It's almost as if he knew what I was about to say. So I said to him, why were you at a hotel August 1st, 2017. He has no answer. He's just looking at me. I can just hear his heart beating. I can hear it. I can just hear it. The silence is loud. I said, I'm going to ask you again. Why were you at a hotel on the 1st of August? Quickly. Man said, business. I said, business. Business. I said, okay. I got up. I stand up. He goes, Diana, don't make me say it. I said, don't make you say what? He's like, Diana, come on, you know why. No, I don't, that's what I'm asking you. I want you to explain to me, your wife, what you were doing in a hotel. He says, don't make me say it, don't, I don't wanna say it. Please don't make me say it, you know why, come on. I walked upstairs, <laughs> not just one flight of stairs, three flights of stairs to our bedroom where all his clothes reside. I began to throw them all over the, the balcony, down the thing. I had to get them down to the ground floor first and then once I got them to the ground floor, I was about to chuck them out of the, um, the front door. So I'm just throwing clothes, silently throwing clothes, just throwing clothes, throwing clothes. He's saying, stop. He's trying to stop me. He's shouting, he's saying, Diana, come on, please, please. I'm sorry, let me explain. Let me tell you what happened, I'm sorry. I eventually stop, explain what happened. He's just like, I don't know, like I fucked up. I made a mistake, like I don't know why I did it. I don't understand, I just did it, I don't know. Some bullshit excuses. So I'm chucking clothes, I'm chucking clothes, I'm chucking clothes, I'm chucking clothes. I call his mum. I said, come collect your son. It's so funny because obviously I've put that in lyrics in the future. If you haven't listened to my EP <laughs> Finn, check it out. So I really told her, come collect her son because he's cheated. He's a piece of shit and I don't want him in my yard. So at this point, I'm raging, I'm shaking, I'm throwing all his shit outside. He's trying to stop, he's not even like trying to plead with me anymore. He's not even trying to calm me down. He's just trying to get me to stop throwing his stuff outside. He's like, fine, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Like, you don't have to keep doing this. I'm gonna leave, I'm going to leave. His mom eventually turns up. They go, she tries to defuse the situation. There's nothing to defuse. At this point, I am raging. Like, I'm screaming, I'm everything. Come out the house, come out the house. So he leaves, he goes to his mom's. Now I'm in this house all alone with nothing but my thoughts to, um, to think about. And I just started thinking of everything, like why did he do this? I start thinking of, thinking of August 1st again and everything I was doing that day, trying to make it make sense. I'm like, is that why he was so angry that we didn't have sex that night because he had cheated on me that day? Like I'm so confused, like what is going on while I'm over here slaving over a hot stove, cleaning this blood clot yard that I pay for on my own and you're out spending your money that you don't have on hotel rooms. I was for you men, for you men. So few men turn into hurt. Then I went through my wave of just crying. I was crying because he was gone for a couple days before I spoke to him. Like I, he was not coming back to the house. I was not eating. Um, I was barely sleeping. I weren't even bathing my skin. Let's talk about it. Like I was in a bad way. My best friend came all the way down to my house and we didn't live close. Came because it's like, it sucks because it's like you're still grieving. You know, you're losing yeah. somebody that you used to having and you're mad at them and you're grieving them at the same yeah, time. Yeah, and we don't even know how long they were in a relationship. Yeah, comment Ooh. below if you know. Came all the way down to my house, made sure I got out the house, made sure I ate a meal that day, made sure I did something because I literally stayed in bed for probably three, four days straight, just crying, crying, not eating, and just being like, why, what, huh? So eventually, because obviously during this time, he's still texting my phone, he's calling my phone, please let me talk to you, please let me explain, please let, let, me, let me come home, let me come home. And I'm obviously ignoring him. No, you're not coming home. No, you're not talking to me. I don't want to talk to you about what you've done, what you've done, and you booked a hotel room to do it. So it is where it is at this point. So eventually, I can't remember how long it was. Eventually, he asked to come and speak to me. And I said, fine, you can come and speak to me. So he comes back to the house to speak to me. I'm like, I don't even want you to try and make excuses. I just want, 
I just want you to explain certain things and I've got questions that need answers. So I'm asking him like, so I did bring up the, um, so the night that you said to me, oh, you need to sort out whatever's going on with you because I'm not getting what I want. Was that something to do with the fact that you had cheated on me earlier on in that day? And he said, yes. He said he felt so disgusted within himself. He couldn't even look at himself in the mirror. Um, he came home and just regretted everything. So he wanted us to have sex to kind of wash away the sin that he had committed earlier on in the day. He wanted to wash that girl away and just erase it by having sex with his, with his wife. And because I weren't up to it, it made him angry because he's like, well, now I still have to live with what I've done and I can't just wipe it away by having sex again. That's fucked up. So that was one thing. I remember asking him, um, how long has it been going on? Where do you know her from? He said he doesn't know her. She was a total stranger. He met her in a shop. She was having boyfriend issues apparently and she was just not, he said it was just easy. She was just there, it was very easy to do, only happened once and he already planned for it to not happen again before I found out. Oh, lucky me, he had know, already right? planned before I found out that this <laughs> wasn't gonna happen again, yay! <laughs> He apologizes, he apologizes, he apologizes, he cries. I'm talking snot nose, crying, begging. He got on his knees, he did the most, like, did the most. Talking about he, he he's just in a bad way and he feels like it's because he's depressed. He's not been right, he's not felt right ever since his injury happened and he's not felt like himself and he's just doing things that he wouldn't normally do. I obviously love him. I'm in love with him. This is my husband. So I'm kind of sympathizing with him in a way because I know how bad it was when he had the injury. I know how helpless I felt trying to comfort, be there for him. There's nothing I could really do. And when you're in that situation and it's someone you love, you want to do something to help them, but there's nothing you can really do. So when he starts mentioning that, I am sympathizing, I'm not gonna lie. Do I feel like it's justified and that's an excuse to cheat on your wife? No, I don't, I don't. But at the same time, I kind of sympathized because I'm like, yeah, I can imagine you, your head must be all over the place. I think he's like, do you even think like, I want you to be paying all the bills. I want to take care of you. I want this, I want that. And I'm not able to do it and it fucks with me and blah, blah, blah. So I'm- I was actually just thinking, why do it seem like every time this dynamic in a relationship happens where the woman ends up being like the breadwinner a lot of the times, not all the times, but a lot of times it seems like the man, it's like it hits his ego in some type mm -hmm. of way and he goes out and cheat on her. I don't know if it's a way to try to, what, what it, I don't know why they do that. I don't that. know because it seems like if anything, you should be thankful. Like I get it's kind of, it's almost like I'm supposed to be the man, but it's like, that's the purpose of a relationship. Like she was there for you. So the thing is, is, get up, do the YouTube channel, you know? It was kind of like he was, what is it? Like he was mad at her or why did he not want to, mm -hmm. you know, fully commit to doing the YouTube channel? It's almost like he felt some type of way. Yeah. But I don't know why people can't just understand, like, that's the purpose of your relationship. That's how you know you have a long-lasting relationship. When y'all can go through some shit and then y'all can make it, but you're supposed to appreciate your person not abuse them. Yeah. I'm like sympathizing now. I'm just like, whatever. I'm not saying to him, oh, okay, come home and let's work on it. I'm not saying that. I'm just letting him speak, but I'm taking it in and I'm just like, okay. I'm trying to make it make sense because up until that point, it made no sense for him to cheat on me. Like, it just made no sense for him to cheat on me. It's not like we had been arguing. It's not like things were bad in our relationship. Yeah. There was nothing to do with us as a married couple that would make me think, oh, is that why you cheated? So I was trying to make sense of it and it's starting to make, not, it wasn't making sense, but it started to, okay, continue. So eventually I was like, do you know what? And then also at the time, because I had slowed down on my own like stuff and I wasn't making as much money 
on my own as I used to make. And we were trying to do the couples thing. I'm like, you're really over here ruining everything. Like you, you've now just completely shattered my heart. But then at the same time, you're messing with the finances because you know we were trying to do this, yeah. and I haven't been making as much money as I used to make because I slowed down and all that. It's like raw. Like why would you do this? Like why would you do this now of all times? Like you know what we got going on. Like what's going on? And even at the same time, while we're doing all the couples things around this time, I remember so specifically. I've always always been trolled um, on the internet for as long as I can remember but this specific time period I was trolled the hardest around this time period there was troll accounts saying that my man had gotten um, them pregnant there was troll accounts saying that he was gonna leave me for someone people leave in our comment section all the time your man's wow. gonna leave you for me I'll take your man from you or he's too good-looking for you um, you don't deserve him you need to this you need to that just cussing me off like I felt like I was the most hated wife on YouTube at the time all because I was with someone that I guess people found attractive I used to get it a lot and I remember every time I would get like a really hurtful or hateful comment just for existing and being this man's wife I would show him and I'll tell him and I express how I feel about it and he would always just say to me oh it's just a troll oh just ignore it oh it doesn't really matter it's not real leave it but let someone say one bad thing about him he's talking about it for the whole day mind you he's talking about it for the whole day <laughs> wow. so it was one of them things where it's like raw people literally tear me apart online where I am making my money I make my money online so people literally it's like imagine going to work every day and every single day you go to work your colleagues are just they're just dragging you, cussing you, just reading you for filth Damn. every single day. You wouldn't want to go to work. You, yeah. you would quit, no? So even though it's the internet and it's just social media, it's where I make my money and it's where I, like, come on. Like, every day I wake up, I go to check my comments or I go to upload or I just try and put something up. I think I'm putting up a cute little video of my husband not knowing it's gonna make a bunch of girls hate me and attack me and tell me I'm too ugly to be with him and he's too good looking for me and I'm gonna take your man from you and he needs to leave this bitch and be with me and da -da 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 -da, and people are making fake accounts and trolling me on Twitter. I had someone trolling me on Twitter for five years straight. Their Twitter name was like his name, like Mrs. and then the surname. They were wow. telling me that they were pregnant by him and don't worry what you're soon gonna see our mini children, telling me that I'm incapable of having children for him because we hadn't had kids and saying, oh, you can't have kids. That's why he came to me. I'm gonna give him what you couldn't. You know, I didn't really get to see him like that, but he must really be good looking. I mean, I just saw a dude and, you know, her, and I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. He might be that type of cute, like, um, I don't know if y'all been on TikTok, but it's this dude. He sells life insurance. And when I tell you, <laughs> every time I see him, all I do is just like, because I don't even know what the fuck he's talking about. He's just that handsome. And you can see it in the comments, men, women, straight gay lesbian <laughs> we all be like bro you are too handsome. like what what is you saying we don't know what you're saying you're too handsome and he be all up in the camera <laughs> is he that type of handsome he must Probably be that type so, of handsome because listen he told her the reason he cheated is because it was easy yeah he might be that type of handsome i'm gonna have to get a look at him <laughs> and just a bunch of stuff and he knows all of this he knows i was witnessing all of this so at the time i'm thinking all these people caping for you and having you be this this big mighty high and mighty person if only they knew the truth like if only they knew you're not this this amazing husband that everybody thinks you are like you're out i'll tell you now a bunch of them women that's in there trolling they can give two fucks they this is probably what they expect of him. Yeah, but even <laughs> if they even if they knew, they I'm telling you, it's like people so hateful, they still gonna try to find a way to put the blame on you. Yep. People are just hateful like that. Yeah. It's kinda like how we was talking the other day and you were saying why when like a black person is successful like if you read the comments somebody always trying to tear it down yeah i didn't show you this but it was um morris chestnut and they were saying how he had been married to his wife for so long and um, he said that he's never cheated on her. And then when you read the comments, people was like, it's easy to say that when your ass ain't never got caught, I'm sure you cheat just like everybody else. And I'm just like, what if the man 
even been cheating. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, why is it so hard to think like people can do right? I know we see a lot of fucked up shit in the world, but But damn. that's why I think it's like important to realize you cannot, don't stress or be too concerned over stuff you cannot control. You can't control what people think about you, what they say about you. Yeah. The only thing you can work on is yourself and how you react and just not paying attention or not getting emotionally worked up over this shit. Yeah. That's the only thing you can control. Uh, not paying bills, but paying for hotels to cheat on your wife. Everybody wants you so bad and I'm just this horrible person that doesn't deserve to be with you, but I'm not doing that to you. If anything, I'm trying to be a good wife. I'm trying to hold you down. So why is it that behind closed doors, this is what I now am dealing with? So then he's like, if you want me to, I will get on camera, I will make a video, and I will tell everyone what a piece of shit I am. I will do anything to get you back. I will do anything for you to give me another chance. So then I'm like, what do you mean? Cue the video where he sits down. Guys, I fucked up. I'm a man. If you've seen the video, you've seen the video. Oh, I it is what it is. The video doesn't exist on this channel anymore. But um, ah. if you saw the video, you know the video I'm talking about. But before he did that video, I did say to him, if I'm going to give you another chance, I'm going to take you back. I don't want nobody to know you cheated on me. You're saying that you want to do this to try and have people be easy on me because you know how much hate yeah, I get online. Yeah. But I hear that part, but then at the same time, I don't want nobody to know that my husband has cheated on me and I've decided to forgive him and stay with him. That's embarrassing. And I felt embarrassed. And that is something I would have taken to my grave because I don't want no one to know that because that's something I thought I would never accept. I've always said, Someone cheated. Well, then, if that's the case, then that also means that if she would have took him back, I don't know if she took him back or not. It's like it just wouldn't have been the same when they would have sex with each other. She would have been thinking about that. Yeah, and then not only that, the actual trolls would have been really trying to it get to It would have really him. been getting in her head, yeah, too. Yeah, and they would have really been trying to get to him. That means it opens up the flood. Which is probably real. why they're not together now. I don't know what happened, but it looks like they may not be together. Cheats on me, first time, I'm out. But for some reason, here I was considering working on our marriage and considering letting him come home. And I'm, I'm, I couldn't explain to myself, like I couldn't explain to myself why I was letting him come home. But hold up, okay, so why do you think? I'm thinking it's because she's leaving, she didn't, it's easier to stay in your comfort zone. So it's easier to stay with him because that's where everything is familiar. Yeah, but then a lot of times people are afraid of looking like a failure or letting the world know, you know? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, like you said, it's still, it's not going to be the same. So those issues are going to come up. It's, it's kinda, like the relationship is tainted. It's kind of like with me and you. Like my biggest thing is I don't do the cheating. It would fuck me up if Carla just, I don't know, just nutted up and just went out and cheated on me. Yeah. I can see how, like, if me now, I'm saying I would not take Carla back, which most likely I wouldn't, so don't even try it. <laughs> but um, I'm just saying I can see how I would have moments or thoughts in my head like, damn, we done, like, built all this together. We got so many plans that we're working on in the future. Yeah. Like, that just really messed everything up. Should I just forgive this little thing so we can just move forward? And you see some couples where they have – gotten past it and, and they're living a, what looks like a successful yeah. life. But everybody... I don't know. The only couple I ever seen do it, um, both of them was cheap. I don't know nobody who just got cheated on. Yeah, and they... And they just, in their marriage, just, oh yeah, I do know one, but they ain't happy. And they older. And why I was about to let this happen. So if this was gonna happen, I had to have it on my terms. And I'm like, you can't tell no one you cheated on me because that's embarrassing. And all the people that troll me already are still going to troll me and say, ha ha, that's why your man cheated on you. Ha yeah. ha, that's why you're saying with a, with a cheater. Like I didn't see it working in my favor and I didn't see it making any of the trolling less, less like less worse than what it was. That's why that video, 
That's why in that video, he was just tiptoeing around it. He wasn't saying what he did. He was just saying, I fucked up. I'm a man. But then, of course... I guarantee you people was putting two and two together and reading between the lines. That's probably what she about to say. Everybody in the comments speculated. Are we cheating? Right. Cheated. What else could he be talking about? What right. else could he have done to F up? What does he mean by I'm only human and I'm only a man? Of course he's cheated. Of course he's cheated. And here I am, big boo-boo, the blood clot fool, <laughs> over here arguing with people on the internet who said he cheated, though. He didn't say he cheated. <laughs> what do you mean? Where did you get that from? The word cheating didn't come out of his mouth. Oh, where did you hear that from? Let me know. Because people will come and look and tell that, that's what happened. When people start saying stuff in the comments and certain people get mad, it's like it stings because there's some truth there. And she's telling herself even more because they like, then they thinking like, oh, we triggered her. She triggered. Yeah, especially depending on how she was going. Yes. In the it's like, oh, he cheated. Like, oh, she said nothing but to the comments where they say he cheated. <laughs> So, so then she tried to do these half-ass replies to the uh, the nice comments, you know, to make it seem like she's yeah. not only responding to uh, yeah. the ones that's triggering her, but, but the other ones that trigger and give a this. paragraph. Do you think part of her stayed with her, stayed with him? Okay, so how the trolls were saying, oh, he looked too good to be with you and blah, blah, blah. Do you think maybe she did feel that in a sense? Like she couldn't get someone or it was like a self-esteem issue? Cause I just, I, it's like, I don't know her enough to say that, but it could be all of that. It could be a mix of all of that, but it's like, I would have to get to know her more to see. Yeah. Cause I just don't see, I guess if, if you have, if you've stayed with someone that cheated on you, or if you even tried to make it work, what was your reasoning? Like, I really want the truth, not just, Oh, because that was my marriage. Like, but this person cheated on you. Yeah, be honest. Like, was y'all finances tied into each other? Or did you feel like you were too old to be able to get somebody yeah, else? Because I just, yeah. I'm or, like, you know, another thing, too. Luckily, she was the one paying the main bills. But what if it was flipped and he was the one paying all the bills? I know. So then it's kind of like, damn, I ain't got nowhere else to go. Now I'm living with my mama in her basement. I'm just going to have to forgive this nigga so I can get back in my three story home. Yeah, because like the thing is, we don't know what, well, we're new, so we don't know what her situation would have been or if she would have had a mom to go and stay with. I don't know, I just can't do the cheating thing. Like when I hear about cheating or think about my person cheating on me, y'all, it makes me sick to yeah, my and she's stomach. Speaking like from experience. I'm nauseous. Yeah. Like I can see why she says she didn't eat because I've been through that. Like, yeah. that's not a good place to be in. Mm -hmm. And say, oh, I know he's cheated. He he was talking to my friend. People started saying things like that. Like, what? I always knew. Because he DM'd my friend. Or he spoke to my friend. Or he was um, fucking with me. And da -da -da -da. people were just saying all these things. So then at the same time, I was trying to find more information from the comments. I was like, oh, really? Who told you that? Where did you get that from then? Like, I was saying it in a way to try and fish for more information to see, was he really, is there really more women that I don't know about? And they're all coming out now freely because of this video that he's put out saying that he's left up. I was like, kind of, def I wasn't defending him. I was kind of just like, well, who said he cheated? No one said, I didn't say he cheated and he didn't say he cheated. So why does everybody think he cheated? And that was my way of trying. Yeah, but you also didn't say he, he didn't. didn't cheat. She didn't say that. That's another way. It's like people don't understand. You tell Wait, them Wait, we don't know. Y'all, did she say he didn't cheat? They wouldn't know because unless they was in the comments. Well, that but, person who recommended this video. But if you respond and you're like, he never said he cheated. I never said he cheated. Okay, but you didn't say he didn't cheat. <laughs> you tell him on yourself <laughs> like that. And then if, and then the people reading the comments and you fishing for information. Wait a minute, who you say he was talking I to? I know. It almost made me think about, you know, how some people, it's like they're not that smart and they almost tell on themselves. Yeah, themselves. she's just telling on herself. She was showing her poker hand. <laughs> to keep this, this embarrassing secret for me off the internet. Because the last thing I wanted was for me to be known as the wife who stayed with They should have just not even did no damn video. Just got back on there and did fucking pranks. The cheat. Like, I didn't want to be known for that. That was really embarrassing for me. He also um, went and got my face tattooed on his back. That was his other grand gesture to show me how sorry yeah. he was and how much he wanted it to work and how much he wanted me to give him another chance. So he made the video.
He should have put it on his chest for the next time he cheated so the woman could have saw. Uh, tattooed my face <laughs> on his back. Like, look, I'm serious. I want you to see how serious I am, how sorry I am, how it's never gonna happen again. Like, look, your face, a portrait is now on my back. Like, it's on my skin. That happened. I also made a video as well. And I got emotional in that video and I was crying in that video because the reason why I made a video is because people started, instead of um, calming down on the Diana hate train, which is what the intent for the video was supposed to do, it was supposed to make the Diana hate train calm down while I'm actually going through a really hard time because my husband's real life just cheated on me. Like I'm not in a good place. Like I'm really not in a good place. The last thing I want is to be trolled on the internet especially when I know we got to get back on there to make money. It's not even like I can really take days off. I felt like I couldn't take days off. I have to go put on a happy face and be on the internet again because the internet's where I make money and we couldn't afford to not work. We couldn't afford to stop filming content and we couldn't afford to just take a break for me to grieve this or just feel the pain and deal with the pain. Like we could, no, because he weren't making enough money to hold it down. He couldn't hold it down while I be depressed and be in bed all day, every day crying and being upset about what you just did to me. So we had to still work. So I'm just like, okay, cool. Do the video so people at least know as well. That's another reason why. So people can at least know that we're going through something right now. Take it easy. If you see the vibes are a little bit off with us because everyone knows our vibe, it was immaculate. Like we bounced off of each other. We was funny. We was that couple that just always brought joy and laugh and jokes, just banter. And that wasn't gonna happen on our videos for a while because of how I really felt and what we was really going through. So it was kind of more like a warning as well to our subscribers to be like, listen, we're dealing with some stuff. We're going through a rough patch. So if the vibe seems a bit off, it's because I've messed up. He said things like, leave Diana, she's perfect. She hasn't done anything. She's a great wife, blah, blah, blah. So it was kind of along them lines. And that video, it kind of did the opposite to what the intention for that video was supposed to be. It done yeah. the opposite because now people started to um, still cuss me off, but now they were saying that this was all fake. This was all scripted. Oh, this was wow. all um, YouTube content that we were faking. This is all some sort of promotion for my music video because mind you, shortly after that month, I came out with X, my song X, the music video. And the song X is about me saying that my ex ain't shit and I bet you wish you still had me in your life type of thing. So people were like pushing a narrative that all of this was some fake drama and fake marriage issues to promote my single that I was coming out with called X, which was not the case at all. And that hurt so much because X had been recorded from summertime. I think I recorded X in May or June. Imagine, I had X. And I'm gonna tell you, I think what it is is, um. Like when you're dealing with the internet, this is kind of why Carla and I, we are just as, it's like what you see with us is what you get. So it's kind of like, even though they didn't tell exactly, it's like she was trying to like say, oh, I don't want to tell that you cheated on me. So they, even though, um, it's like the crowd could still tell they were something was being manipulated or left out. They couldn't put their finger on it exactly, but they knew someone right. So even though it would have been hard for them to just come out and be like, look, like he cheated, blah, blah, blah. I think maybe, I don't know. You think it would have lessened? I think they just should have not put his video out. She should have, if she was gonna be on YouTube anyway, she should have just focused on her, her channel that she had slacked up on. She should have focused on that channel and maybe they could have set the content up on the couple's channel you know, but I think when you try to, when you get to a point when you start trying to strategize how to omit information or leave certain things out to make y'all look a certain way, that's when you start kind of looking um, fake or like you're hiding something. Yeah. And you gotta understand, like we as human beings, we have elevate, uh, elevated in consciousness, so yeah. we are so much more emotionally smart. Like we are able to people watch twenty four seven, TikTok. <laughs> YouTube, so they can see something's not right. They just can't put their finger on it. Yeah. So. From probably May or June and didn't shoot the video until August and put it out till August. So that was really hard for me because I'm like, raw, this song has been recorded and I've wanted so it. So it's kind of like even with this Regine and uh, old boy thing, like 
something seems seemed off with that. You know, you can't quite put your fingers on all of it. Like, was it to help promote his music? Was it to help promote their TV show? You yeah. know, you can't put pa shit past these people because a lot of people will do anything for fame these yeah. days. Come out for so long and it was actually coming out. All the shoot had already been booked prior to me finding out that he was booking hotel rooms. Shoot had been booked. Don't, like, I had to do rehearsals. X is a whole dance video. You think we didn't have to rehearse for that? You think we could have rehearsed for that? So that wasn't making sense to me. I'm like, people are saying that I'm trying to promote my music video that I'm shooting, but do you think I really can come up with a whole choreography, get all my dancers and we're just gonna practice and we've got it on point in a few days to then shoot a few days later? Cause that's literally what happened. The shoot was booked for a few days later. This had happened. So it was just all really bad timing. Like it was proper bad timing. His video now made people turn on me for another reason. Cause now I'm a liar who's conjuring this big YouTube um, scandal. All right? What the thing about me? I'm not conjuring no fucking YouTube scandals about my life. Like this is my real life. This is my real life, bro. Like, no, I'm not doing that. Maybe she should date a man ugly. A ugly man. Nothing fake They'll cheat for too, views. Man. No, I mean, because it's like, <laughs> all she doing is existing on the internet, seem like, and they're going in on her just for dating somebody who they think is cute or whatever. That's crazy. Or out of her league me. or something. Yeah, but it's like, they just simply, it's like she had something that they either wish that they could have or something like that. But, ugh. <laughs> So because that's what the narrative was, I then might made my video to try and tell my side, tell how I feel, so people can really like feel me. Like this isn't a joke, this isn't YouTube views, this isn't some sort of promotion for my single and my music. This is real and I'm really hurting right now. I'm really going through a hard time right now and I appreciate if you guys can just understand. So I made my video and I got emotional in that one, I cried. And that was that, we tried to vlog. He was like filming content kind of on his own, he was vlogging on his own and I remember at the time um, a lot of the viewers weren't happy with how happy he was seeming because they're like, you just got on here and said you messed up and Diana just got on here and she was crying. So there was a lot of people that felt yeah. really like protective over me like, no, why are you skinning tea and grinning out your tea on camera? It's too <laughs> soon, sir. Um, we vlogged the behind the scenes of my music video for X and um, everyone was angry in that one. Like, I can't even look at him the same. Why is he just so happy to be there? Why is he talking to the dancers? Why is he doing this? Why is he doing that? Oh my gosh, why is he even there? Like, it started to get really, people were picking sides. Like, it became a thing where, and again, remember, he didn't specifically say what he had done in the video, but everybody had kind of come to the conclusion that it was cheating. I had never said he had cheated, he had never said he had cheated, but everybody assumed it was cheating. So when they're seeing him smiling and being happy in the videos and stuff, they're just like, no, after you did this, na 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 na. And it kind of got a bit too much for me, because I'm like, there was po no point in you making a video, like I know you tried to do that to, to help me or to help people leave me alone and stop me from being trolled. Didn't work, because I still got trolled, to the point where I've now made a video crying on camera, useless there was no point of us doing that i'm still being bothered people are picking sides we can't even film content the whole point we have this channel together to film content is to make money we're not really going to make any money if nobody even believes us as a couple anymore no one even believes in us as a couple anymore they can't even watch us people yeah. are saying oh i can't even look at him the same i can't watch him the same i'm like all of this is just useless i think we ended up taking a break for a long time on the content and I jumped back on my solo stuff and just tried to do it that way but it, things were rough for a while like things were rough for a really long time we never we honestly never really got back to normal like completely normal that we had our good moments again and there was times where I felt like okay do you know what maybe we can get over this there was times I felt like maybe we could get over this I was the same maybe we can get through this and maybe 20 years from now, we'll be laughing like, wow, we've been through it. But um, as you guys know, <laughs> fast forward, you guys know it didn't work out in the end and you guys know I ended up leaving, but I didn't leave because of that. I did not leave then. I left eventually, but not then. And if what? I could have gone back in time, I would have left then. If I would have known what I know now, I would have left there and then. Uh. But hey, I stayed a few more years and there's a lot more stories that happened in those few more years and I'm pretty sure what? you guys want to hear them. So, I'm going to leave this one here. There's probably so much I've left out. There's probably a lot I've left out. But I don't want to talk about this all day. Shout out to everyone that was like, oh yeah, what else could it be? He cheated. Yeah, you are right. Yeah, you are right. <laughs>
well done i don't want to hear no i knew it i don't want to hear oh, i told you so don't come rub it in don't come rub it in just know i was trying to protect my embarrass men sorry my memory Our card ego. keeps getting full so that's my cue to go anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you want to hear some more stories about what happened next let me know just thumbs this video up and i'll see you in my next one I tell you, boy, our ego can be something else. <laughs> I know. It's like, I don't know. Did you have moments of looking at her? It was kind of like a K Michelle. It, it was like different people. Jumping from Aaliyah to K Michelle. Yeah, Aaliyah. I was like, why does it look like I'm looking at multiple people? <laughs> some some people have faces like this. Kind of like uh, that movie Swarm. Oh yeah. That girl was looking like everybody. I did. I had a moment of. I was like, she's making me think of different people. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, that was a crazy story time. I know, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. It's like I enjoyed how she told the story. She really had me, like, really she, engulfed. Because I was like, girl, if you don't say what his ass did. Yeah, she did good with him. you don't say what his ass was. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, if y'all enjoyed the reaction, definitely hit the subscribe button. Also, like the video. Sorry, y'all, my allergies acting up. Um, hope to see y'all next time. Peace. You don't really need a lot of